This video is gonna be a continuation of a previous video that I did for pull workouts, for back and biceps, that I did it for mass, my mass builders. This video here is gonna be for the finishing exercises for back and biceps. If you didn't see that previous video, pull workout for building mass, at the end of this video, in the end card, there's a link to it that you can click on so you can see what that video is all about. So let's take this over to the front lap pull downs and we'll get this party started. My first finishing exercise when I'm doing my pull workout for back is front lap pull downs. One of the biggest mistakes people make when they do this is they grab the bar and they start yanking the bar like this, using all the body momentum to pull the weight. And then some guys lean way, way back. The right way to do this, anchor your legs under the pads, you want to be able to push your chest up as you're pulling the bar down. And when you're doing this, you want to engage your lat muscles. Okay, you're not really pulling with your arms as much. You're engaging the lat muscles. You're pushing your upper body to the sky and you're pulling down, squeezing your shoulder blades together and you're coming up about 80% and you're keeping the tension on the lat muscles constantly squeezing them, never letting the muscle engagement look uh, loose. Because if you come up here, you just lost the muscle engagement. You lost the time under tension. When you keep it at 80%, in other words, a partial rep, you've got constant tension on your lats and you're able to control the squeeze all the way through the repetitions. And what I would do is I would take this exercise using a moderate weight into the 25 rep range. And a lot of times I drop set this. I'll drop set this maybe two or three rounds. So it doesn't matter the weight that I'm using. You gotta pick the weight that you're comfortable with to get those high reps. Because remember, high repetitions is what keeps blood in the muscle. And that's what's gonna give you that skin splitting pump you always hear me talking about. Because honestly, that's the goal of going to the gym. Training the muscles, fatiguing the muscles, and getting the pump. The lower reps are not going to give you that pump. So keep the chest up like you're pushing it up to the sky. Pull the bar down, squeezing your lats together and letting it come up about 80% and then going right back into the exercise. Constantly keeping your lat muscles engaged through the entire repetition range. Okay, now we're going to take this over to another exercise. We're going to superset a bicep finishing exercise. Just like I did in the previous video, I supersetted a back exercise and a bicep exercise. They're going to do the same thing. You don't necessarily have to do it in this order. You could just do the back finishing exercises and then go for the bicep finishing exercises. It doesn't matter. I choose to superset these together when I'm doing a pull workout. Otherwise, I just do one body part a day. The choice is yours. They're all right answers. It's just what you decide to do for that workout. So let's take this over to a bicep finishing exercise. This next exercise and this pull work finisher is going to be barbell concentration curls. This is an old school exercise that Bob Gruskin showed me many, many, many years ago and it really helps build that bicep peak. So watch how I do this. There's no swinging the bar. There's no momentum. This is all concentration in the bicep, engaging the bicep on every rep and squeezing it at the top. Watch how I do this. I'm bent over. I'm in a crouch position. And all I'm doing is curling this bar up and squeezing my bicep very hard at the top. I come down, squeeze, squeeze, just like this. Being in this crouch position with my knees bent alleviates any stiffness or soreness in my lower back. Just like this. This is a great concentration curl for biceps with the barbell. You can do dumbbell concentration curls I like doing barbell concentration curls, okay?
Now, we just came over from the front lap pull down to barbell concentration curls. You could drop set this if you want, depending on how much weight you're using. This is a 20 pound barbell, and let me tell you, it's heavy enough where I can get those 20 plus reps that I'm looking for out of every set. So chances are I'm not gonna drop set this. I'm gonna high rep set this and go right back over to the front lap pull down. So now I'm gonna do another finishing exercise for back and it's gonna be a dumbbell row. So follow me over to the dumbbell rack. All right, we're gonna do single arm dumbbell rows. This exercise is probably one of the most butchered exercise besides doing rear delt work that I see in the gym all the time. Everyone does this exercise like it's trying to start a freaking lawnmower, okay? This isn't pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling. That's what everybody does. You're not doing anything but just pulling the weight. You gotta understand and learn how to engage the lat and let the lat muscle do the work Watch how I do this. I'm not starting a fucking lawnmower, okay? So watch how I do this. I'm slightly hunched over. I'm leaning on the dumbbell rack and I let my lat muscle hang down. Everyone's doing this, okay? You look like fucking assholes doing this. Actually, fucking stupid. Let your lat muscle hang down. You want to take this dumbbell and you want to pull with the lat and pull this dumbbell to your hip and you want to squeeze your lat against your spine. Just like this. And I do partial reps. I do not go all the way down. Remember, you don't want to lose the lat engagement. You're getting a good, a good enough stretch doing it just like this. And you're keeping the muscle under tension, constantly under tension. And my lat is doing all the work. Just like this. Okay? If you don't engage your lat muscles while you're doing this exercise, you're wasting your time. You're gonna blow your back out, blow your rotator cuff out. You're really gonna do some damage that could really give you some, some long-term setbacks. And that's the last thing you want is to have a long-term setback while you're in the gym. So stop the fucking ego training. Don't grab the 100 pounders. God, who the fuck could use 100 pound dumbbells? I know a few pros that can, but God knows you're not a fucking pro. I use the 30 pound dumbbell, for example. I might use 35s while I do this. Remember, this isn't your first exercise. If you follow the full pull workout, you've got two mass building exercises, which is the isolateral row and then a bent over barbell and then you're going into a pull down and then you're coming over here. But, and if you're supersetting all of this, you've got four bicep exercises you're gonna be doing. So if you're able to grab a 100 pound dumbbell after doing all that, there's no way you're doing it the right way. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. There's no fucking way you can do it that way. Lighten up the weight, learn how to use muscle engagement and let the lat muscle do the work if you want to see the results. If you want to train me to rego, then grab the fucking hundreds and pull until the fucking lawnmower starts. I guarantee they'll be carrying you out of here in a fucking stretcher. All right? We're going to take this to one more bicep finishing exercise. Follow me over to the cables. My last exercise, or should I say my last finishing exercise, is done with a handle, a bicep peaking handle, that Bob Gruskin made probably over 45 years ago. There's only two that I know are in existence. I have one, and I recently found out that my friend Dan Morrow, another Bob Gruskin trained champion from the 80s, has the other one. I am in the process of trying to get this replicated to make it available to you guys. This is the ultimate when it comes to bicep peaking. And when I do this exercise, you're gonna see why. Bob gave me this years and years ago to help peak my biceps. And I tell you what, this is the tool right here. Like I said, there's only two that I know in existence. I have one and Dan Morrow has the other. And I'm gonna get these duplicated and uh, have them available. Watch how I do this and watch how the bicep is engaged 
and watch how I'm able to twist into this exercise to really peak the biceps. All right, I'm hooked up to the cable. I only have 20 pounds on. I'm grabbing the tool over the top. I'm right here. I let my arm extend out just a little bit and I'm gonna rotate just like this. Rotate, come to a peak and I'm able to turn as hard as I can to peak the bicep. And then I come right back down. Just like that, a really hard squeeze in your bicep. This bicep peaking tool that Bob Gruskin made is an absolute game changer. I know you guys can't do this. You might be able to replicate it, something similar with a cable, with a handle, but this is a game changer. I know it helped Dan, he and I just spoke the other day, and it helped me tremendously. And like I said, I'm gonna try to get this replicated and made available for you guys because I believe so strongly that this tool right here is a game changer. I made a video about it probably two years ago and I figured I would reintroduce it. And I wanted you to show you guys the articulation that this tool gives you. You know, everyone does a regular curl like this. This handle allows you to twist, twist your wrist and squeeze that bicep hard. You can't really do that with a lot of other bicep exercises. That's why Bob Gruskin made this tool and it's a definite game changer, okay? We're gonna wrap this up. All right, guys, I put out two videos for the pull workout. The first one was the pull workout for mass. There is a link in the end card for you to see that video and make sure you click the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. The, vi the exercises I did in this video today are the finishing exercises to that mass building video that's in the link in the uh, end card. In the description below, I have a link for a free PDF download. You add your email address, you're gonna get a fitness journey program to help you get started. And on top of that, for everyone that does that, I'm gonna give you a free Zoom call. I said in a previous video, it'd be about 10 minutes. The Zoom call is gonna go longer than 10 minutes. I really wanna help you guys, okay? Also in the links below in the description are links to my Buy Me A Coffee site where I have training videos in my Buy Me A Coffee shop that go into extreme detail for beginner, intermediate, and advanced training on all of the body parts. There's a video for reversing type 2 diabetes and the keto diet. I reversed my type 2 diabetes with keto and I know I can help you reverse your type 2. There's also a video in there for contest preparation. Take a look at these videos that are available in my Buy Me A Coffee shop. I guarantee you there's a lot more information in those videos than you see me putting out on my regular YouTube videos. They are very large files also. So please kick your notification bell. Thank you for watching and until next time, I'll see you guys in the gym. Peace out.